Hey everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 316, and welcome back to another episode of Banjo Tooie. Today, we are going to do our best, and by our best, I mean I'm going to do my best, and no, I suck. To try to get done with everything in Pterodactyl Land, we can't like 100% the level or anything, but we can get a lot of things done. Uh, primarily with Humble Wamba. Excuse me, my mustache is getting real long. Probably needs a trimming soon. So does my. I need a haircut so badly. Look at this little floof on the side. Look at this little. It's awful. Um, over here, we need. To, oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. What the heck is that thing? Can you go in that hole? How have I never seen that before? How the heck would you get over there? There's like a button up there. How the heck would you get up there? I don't see a path or anything. I wonder if you have to fly up there. Let's test it out. I know I said we we're gonna get stuff done today, but that doesn't mean we don't have a little bit of time for exploration as well. Let's go to the freaking flight pad and fly over there and see what we can do. Um, but yeah, most of the stuff that we have to do today deals with Mumbo Jumbo and Humbo Awamba, the two rhymers. Um, and so we'll see if we can get all of their stuff done. Um, pretty much once we get their stuff done, we're mostly done with this level. With the mini dinosaur, we have to do a little roaring pattern uh, on this thing to get a jiggy and that's it. With the big dino, we have to um, scare away some cavemen as well as step on a switch to get a Jinjo. Uh, and then with Mumbo, well, we have to obviously use Mumbo to make the dinosaur big. We have to use Mumbo to make the little Pterodactylosaurus big, or whatever that thing is called, the Stychotosaurus. I think I always think of the Triceratops, but it's not. Or Stegosaurus. Okay, where was this thing? I've literally never seen this before. Ha There's got to be something in here. It would not just exist for no reason, right? I honestly have no idea what this is. Let's freaking find out. Let's find out. I've missed the switch. I've mi I I'm so I'm so bad. I have missed the switch. Let us freaking land upon this switch. You got it. You got it. Okay, we got a dinosaur that's not going to eat me. I don't remember this at all from when I was a kid. Maybe I never found this. Dippy, seeker of beverages. So you need some water in your in your hole, basically, is what we're talking about. Blurg's so thirsty, I need water badly. Why not go and look for some then? It's not going to just drop out of the sky. <laughs> Foreshadowing. The sun burns, poor Dippy, so I must stay in my cave. Please get me a drink. I got, okay, so we got one of those, one of those shut-in dinosaurs. I gotcha. How does one get in here? Oh, what does this lead to? What the heck is this? something up there a freaking cheeto page can i just shoot you with this clockwork because we can get you uh apparently that's all that matters um okay so i didn't know that cheeto page was there oh you know what we definitely just cheated because what you're supposed to do is um fill this up with water excuse me you're supposed to fill this up with water which you get later in the game uh you you get a way to fill this up with water later in the game and then you're supposed to swim up there and get the cheeto page we definitely just cheesed it a bit. That's like speedrun strats. However, I don't know how you get up here other than that. Besides flying. Unless you can make that jump, but it doesn't look like you can. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, the camera help. The camera controls are... Again, I'm going back, between, back and forth between playing this and ukulele. And the camera controls are different. And it's bugging me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and transform into our transformation for this world which i've which i've said several times so i kind of spoiled it i apologize uh but we're going to anyway is there anything on the roof in here i know they used to hide things on the roofs in the mumbo jumbo houses so i'm still convinced oh we haven't thrown it in yet i'm so sorry i just took a dip in cream soda for no reason take it you have global once we give humble yes we do uh and then we'll jump into your pool Sure. Yep, just throw it in. All right, and then while we're transforming, magic ready, jump in one more pool. All right, I'm ready. While we are transforming, I'll just go ahead and groom myself a bit. Just get a little beard combing going, because you know that's what we do here. Beard needs a little... I don't know if the beard does. The mustache for sure needs a trim. Wumba call this baby T-Rex. Use control stick to move. Okay, so I don't think we know how to roar yet. Is, 
is part of the issue. If we try to roar with B, we don't have the ability yet. This is an adorable transformation. Uh, so what we have to do is we have to come down here and we have to say, Yo, Mr. Stego, how you doing? Wow, a new dinosaur, what are you? A vicious T-Rex. You're not that vicious. You don't even know how to roar properly, do you? Er, uh, no, I don't think we do. It's easy, just tap B for a short roar and hold B for a long one. Thanks, let's go roar at someone. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got him. Okay, so that's the gist of what we have to do is this guy. Now, you may have noticed as we explored the level, hey yo, look at this. As we explored the world, there's these little tiny T-Rex with backpack stones. If you roar in front of them, magic, open sesame, door opens right up, that's all it takes. And so there's several across this level that we have to kind of link together. Free Cheeto page, eat my butt. Oh, don't actually though. Um, oh, and this is probably what we need. So hold on, someone take a note of this. All right, please read the sign. Roar, 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 roar. Short, short, long, short, long, long. Short, short, long, short, long, long. Remember that in your brains. Uh, if I was one of those scummy YouTubers that, well, not scummy, let's say smart. <laughs> if I was one of those smarter YouTubers that actually enjoys uh, interactions and stuff like that, I'd say, so that I don't forget, leave it in the comments. Excuse me, we were dino friends five minutes ago. Uh, so that I don't forget, just like, no, 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 please guys, we're all friends here. Just leave it in the comments below. Leave short, short, long, short, long, long. Just leave it in the comments and that way I can remember. Even though there's no way I'll be able to see it because I'm recording right now. But I'll probably forget anyway. So now we need to head up this mountain in this direction. We got the Cheeto page. Now we need to go this way and say, hello, open up for me, daddy. Thank you so much. And we have a lot of stuff. Is this empty? Oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. I need a dank drink. Mm. Where are we? Pterodactyland. Uh, we are further up the mountain. So we have to like scale this mountain a bit. I don't think we can go through here. Just kidding, I killed the guy in here, so we actually can go through here. That's why you do it in the order you do it. And then you've got this prize, so short, short, long, short, long, long. That was a jiggy dance. Okay, so we got this, and you know, it's kind of sad, because this guy's cute. But we're done with baby T-Rex. Baby T-Rex is done. So now we're gonna head back down to Humble Wumble, which is it? It's probably faster to just go through here. Um, we're gonna head back with baby T-Rex. And now we're gonna go get Mumbo Jumbo. With Mumbo Jumbo, we're gonna do everything that he needs to do. And then we'll never have to touch Mumbo Jumbo again. And I'm trying to remember, I don't think we got the Cheeto. Oh god, I flipped you guys off, but luckily it was off camera. So you didn't see. We got the Cheeto page. And we got the Jiggy, which I think are the two big things we needed to get with Little Dino. Big Dino, you need a Jinjo. And that's it? There's no way that's it. Oh, Scare the Caveman. Scare the Caveman. Remember. Scare the Caveman. Um, we will do the Caveman first, and then we will do the Jinjo later, because the Jinjo's right over there. There's a... Uh, you can't see it for some... Okay, there we go. The cage didn't spawn in. You have to step on that button and get the cage, but it's on a timer. So with the timer, you have to come back, transform again, come back out, collect the ginger. So we'll do that next time though, or not next time, we're gonna get it done this episode. Outside Mumbo Skull, we going. Mumbo needs to make the stones in front of his house bigger. That's kind of optional. It's mostly just a quality of life thing so that he can get to the other side without hating his life and getting eaten by a little carnivine. Uh, carnivine. Carnivine, will you come? Okay, but all star set covers aside, or I guess it would be a parody about Pokemon. Um, we need to do that. We need to make the little dino big again. So we need to find the dino's cave. Anything else Mumbo needs to make big? Anything else Mumbo needs to make big? Honestly, nothing I can think about that Mumbo needs to make big. I mean, I can think of a few things. Hi ho! -ho! That was weird. Uh, but uh, I can think of a couple things. But that's not. This game's rated E for everyone, so we'll leave those in our 
Oh, I guess Mumble wears more of a nest than pants, so I was gonna say we could we'll just leave it in his nest. Okay, so Mumble's gonna stand down here with his magic. See, if you were a platforming genius, you could just go, bam, greatest. Okay, well then you could slip right in. I'm not, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and say, Mumbo, go ahead, hope this works. Yo, I'm just need some peanut M&Ms instead. I mean, it does, it's not gonna help my thirst in any way, shape, or form. Also, I really need to stop eating all this uh, Halloween candy, Easter candy. Cause I'm fat, but um, no offense in front of me, I'm gonna eat it. Okay, Mumbo. Step one done. Also, we don't need to do this. Why am I walking? Walking is for poor people. We have teleportation things. Then we can go outside Wumba's wigwam and eat another peanut M&M because God, these are good. You shouldn't eat while you're recording. It's rude. Nobody likes to hear sounds of chewing. But I have like 10 subscribers, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, the name of this is enlarged. Okay, so as you can see, we're gonna make Wumba's TP bigger. We couldn't make Mumbo's PP bigger, but we can make Humba's TP bigger, so kind of works like that. And then we have one more to do. And that is. And that is. Mm, trying to mentally remember where the dinos were. The like stegosauruses. That I will forever call stegosauruses, even though I've been told. Is that a ginger out there? You wanna get zapped, buddy? You wanna get zapped? Freaking send you back to the crustacean area. That's not crustacean area. I definitely meant Cretaceous period. Crustacean area. That's where Sebastian is under the sea. Okay. Um, I think it's right here. Is it not right here? Excuse me, you're you can't make it up this hill. You can't make it up that hill though. What does that mean for business? I mean, we gotta go this way, we gotta go the long way. You're gonna make me walk all the way around and then take the bridge across. You're gonna actually make me take the bridge across. Okay, here's the caveman we have to kill. I swear we have to go over there. Or maybe it's, no, it's definitely not here. So what if we just fall down to it? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with the fall down option. Mumbo, you're gonna get hurt here. You have lived though. That's all that matters. I swear this is where the dinosaurs are. Or this is where the train station is and I'm gonna be upset. Dinosaurs. Everybody do the dinosaur. Get over here. Oh, greatest shaman in the galaxy. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make this little babby. We're gonna make him a not so little babby. We're gonna stand here and we're gonna say, Ika boka, Ika boka, ubarabado, I don't know what that stands for, what it means. Look at this like retro M&M pack. Look at, look at the way that little phallic looking M&M looks. My focus is all off, so you can't actually see it, but okay, dino's big. That means we've helped two or three dinos. We've got one more dino left to help. And it's the biggest pain in the butt ever. Thanks for beefing up my small child. Mmm. So in a way, we kind of did. We kind of are in the male enhancement business, even though it wasn't necessarily that, it was just Different kind of size. Okay. We're done with Mumbo, I think. How the heck are you supposed to get here without... Because Mumbo cannot climb. Oh, you can walk across this. You can walk across that. I like my strat better. Also, I want some of these bad boys. This bad boy. Because there's a ginger at the beginning. I think we could just shoot a clockwork egg right up inside it. And uh, grab the ginger, kind of like we did the Cheeto page. So I think that's the strategy I will be employing. But first, we need to go transform back into Banjo Kazooie. This is pretty much everything you need to do with Mumbo, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I think this is everything you need to do with Mumbo. I should get an overhead view of the little penis thing that's coming from like this thing right here that is clearly phallic. It's harder to see from here. I should get a, a flying view of it as I'm leaving the level. Because if we're going to call this episode Male Enhancement, then you need a penis in your thumbnail. It's that it's that simple. I didn't write the rules of YouTube. That Those are the rules of YouTube. And I just, I just abide by them. <laughs> I tried to, at least. Okay. 
Go sit in your chair, Mumbo. Sit back in that chair. Sit down here. I want to try something. I've been watching speedruns, and apparently you can talk to Mumbo, like, through this. If you, like, stand just right. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't, like, appear to be working. I don't know. I didn't see the angle you had to stand at. But there's some way that when you're standing here, the game thinks... Maybe you have to, like, do, you have to like jump first, and then the game thinks you're up at a certain point. Like, maybe you gotta do, like, a big jump, and then try to talk. And the game's like, oh, they're here. Okay, well, apparently, I don't know. Uh, I'll learn how to speedrun someday. Just kidding. Too much pressure for me. This mustache is in the way. Okay, let's go make ourselves Big Dino now. Big Dino's a lot of fun. Big Dino... Mmm... Isn't my favorite transformation in the game. Probably. As a kid, it certainly was my favorite transformation in the whole game. In this... It's still pretty good. Like, as my, as, as my age has elded. What? I think I'm just dumb. As I've gotten older, I think it remains probably that it still is. Humba stays the same size for some reason. Or is she bigger? She seems same size. I think her uh, her bench got bigger, but I think she's the same size. Whee! Okay, so now we're big dino. I'm gonna call this daddy T-Rex. daddy. Okay, B to make much noise. Look at that. Just strike fear into their hearts. So everybody's terrified of the big T-Rex. I was when I was a kid. You watched Land Before Time? Freaking ate Littlefoot's mom or dad or something. I forget which one. Terrified. But you come over here and you go... Good night. The power of his roar alone can kill things. The roar alone can kill things. And don't even get me started if we stomp on it. Let's go through here. Let's go through here. I think this is the quickest way. It is the quickest way to the cave, man. Rather than going across the entire map. Hey, you want to go, buddy? Literally just freaking headbutt him. This dude in here doesn't even eat our feetsies because he respects us. Okay. So we need to... There's no T-Rex button over here. We need to get up to that guy, though. Because he's got some stuff for us. So we're going to... Can I, we can't... We, no, we're too big for this cave. But if we come up here and we say, Sup, dude. Sup. Well, first I gotta figure out how to get up there. I'm gonna roar from down here. There we go. There you go. Don't gotta be right next to him. Aye! That's scary. Me must go change loincloth. Okay. So, that dude has defecated his britches. That's all we need. Is it all we needed? Oh, we still gotta hatch all these freaking eggs. There's actually a lot to do in this level still, but I'm... Now that I'm getting tired of it, because like I've previously stated... Oh, crud. As I have previously stated, this is probably my favorite level in the entire game. One of them. But I also kind of am of the... I'm also kind of of the opinion that... Um, please. Please. Oh, God. Oh, everybody do the dinosaur. I'm kind of of the opinion as well that maybe we should... It's good to, like, change up your scenery every now and again. Because it's not like... Stay on this. Okay, dinosaur switch. Gate opens. What do we got? 60 seconds, I think. 60 seconds on the clock. 35. Okay, just as much time. But it's not—it's really not that hard. You just come back in here. That took five seconds. Transforming. I don't think takes off time because it's a cutscene technically. So then you step in here. Time is paused. We got 30 seconds to walk across the street, basically. I've been doing that since I was a kid. Hmm. 25 seconds. 26. To take a little stroll down yonder. Down Christian Ponder. Okay. So we're going to come here. And we are going to say hello there, Jinjo. Thank you. Is that all the green Jinjos? That's one of five. Found out, didn't know this until recently, that the Jinjos are completely randomized. Like the order that you receive Jinjos? Please, though. Like, the, the color of the Jinjos that appear in the world is completely random. Please. Okay. Now we're going to transform. I mean, we're going to teleport back to world entry exit. I'm going to see if I can get that Jinjo that's up there by using a clockwork kazooie egg. Or if it's a Minjo. I think it's a Jinjo, though. If I'm remembering correctly. And that might be all of the Jinjos in the world. Let's go beat this guy first. 
Freaking tear you up. You liked me five seconds ago, you jerk face. All right, let's go. We only got four shots, so let's make these count. Right up in the thing. Got it. Sup, Jinjo. That's five or six red. Blow yourself up. Let's view totals real fast. We'll take a little look and see how the Jinjos are doing in this world. Four or five. You want to dunk on me like that? Though we have everything else, which is awesome. Pterodactylans only level five. We're missing one Cheeto page in Jolly Rogers Lagoon. We're actually doing pretty well. One more Jinjo in this world, huh? Unless it didn't count that we just got that guy. Let's check again. Let's check again. I don't believe. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. it okay, it counted it. Well, there's one Jinjo out there somewhere that we still need to find. It's possible it's in an area we can't get to yet. I'm trying to think if that's likely and it's my brain is telling me no. So let's go ahead and go into this cave which we could not access before. Maybe he's in here. I can't remember. Now let's do this. Okay. There's split up paths. There is some cavemen. This is Oogle Boogle's cave. They need... <laughs> Hello. You should see someone about that stammer. No, not stammer. F free, freezing cold cave. No central heating. No food either. Oonga Boonga tribe got guard outside. F please warm cave up and give f f food. You got you, you got Jiggy? Oh my god, that was so mean. <laughs> That's so mean, Kazooie. Not even necessary. Okay, so we need to warm their cave and feed them. The warming part is simple. Boosh, one's frozen. There's several fires across the cave. Pretty obviously enough, we have to, 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 sorry, just trying to be my best them. Turn on the fires with fire eggs. Pretty simple. What is, you heard Jinjo? What is less easy is um, getting them food. Getting them food, so this cave actually connects to Witchy World. Witchy World, as you know, you can go get fries and burgers from a place. From the burger stand, basically. You can go get those. Unfortunately, oh, it's an eggy. Okay, so we can hatch this egg, but uh, not right now. Oh, we should get these eggs. We should get these eggs. Any opportunity the game gives you to get eggs, you need to stock back up. Um, because they don't freaking spawn infinitely in this game for some reason. All right, I see that. You thought you could hide it from me. I don't know what's up there. Perhaps another caveman? But we definitely are going to have to destroy this and jump up there and grip grab our way across the way. So let's go ahead and do that and see what's up here. It's probably just another caveman, if I had to guess. Or it's a link to the past, Zelda style. What do we got in here? It's caveman, right? Yeah, it's just another caveman. Not that I have anything wrong with caveman, but not as exciting as I was hoping. So he's warm. Or he's going to, well, he's warming, I suppose. He's still need, he's still pretending though, a little faker you little faker me warm but still need food junk food good okay so yeah they want french fries they want french fries they're eating sticks right now and so i'll show you where this connects to witchy world but unfortunately we need an ability that we don't yet have so i think it links through right here i think there's one more guy down here and then we'll see where it's linked no there's not one more guy i guess there's only three of them so you step on this boom link to witchy world we'll at least open it up right now uh so what you can do in here is basically nothing. Yeah, so this link's up here, but as you can see, there's these claw, these little feet prints on the wall. So in the next world we go to, which I am fudging dreading, when we go to Grunty Industries, we will finally learn how to use the suction shoes. The suction shoes, or I guess I should say Grunty Industries in general, is is it the hardest level in the game? It could be argued. Maybe not like hardest, but most convoluted for no freaking reason for sure. Oh god, I got it. I got it. I just said they don't respawn and they respawn. This is actually a, oh, because we left the level technically. This is actually a great spot to stock up on eggs. Okay, so Kazooie, go and hatch this egg for me if you could. Is that two or three hatched? I think it's three. Okay, that's this one. That's one of my precious babies. Oh, isn't it cute? Still looks like a scrotum. But there's definitely one more somewhere. And I think the last one's the fat one. I 
think the last one's the fat one. Okay, link back up. I think the last one is the fat one, which is annoying. We also have one more thing we need to do. Uh, before I leave this world, I mean, obviously, like I said, there is another egg out there somewhere. What is that graphical error? Uh, but I can't remember where that egg is. <sighs> I don't want to, I don't want to say, let's just forget about it then. But we're also close to the end of this episode anyway. So maybe next episode we'll have one more final hurrah in... Pterodactyl land. I wanted to get done completely today. Looks like we're not quite gonna get there. We'll get as close as we can though. We can do one more thing. We need to split up between Banjo and Kazooie. Split up. Split it up, boys. Now, Banjo, you can use... No, that's not it. There we go. Look at this. Look at him walk like this. Look at him. Okay, so we got this sick dinosaur over here. We need this sick dinosaur to get some help. So our backpack is kind of like Dora the Explorer's backpack. <laughs> Can just freaking absorb whatever you need it to. And so now we have this thing in our backpack. So now we need to go take it to Chuffy the Train. I'm gonna die. Help. We need to go take it to Chuffy the Train. Put him on Chuffy the Train. Send Chuffy the Train to the Isle of Hags. Then Mumbo's at the Isle of Hags. Then we need to... <laughs> so convoluted then at the Isle of Hags we need to use Mumbo to cure the child then bring the child back here then claim our reward so next episode we'll do that I'm at least gonna put him on the train this time next episode we'll do that thank god the train is here that's not a real ginger don't don't tell me next episode we will do that can you just get out here? Do I have to go in the train station? Next episode, we'll do that. And we will find the last egg. So can I just like drop you here? Okay. Spit him out. Spit him out. Dinosaur. Got him. Okay. So Sneezy Dino's in here now. I think we can just tell Chuffy to go. Can I, can I tell you from here where to go? Can I tell you from here where to go? Are you blind, Chuffy? Okay, well, apparently we can't tell him where to go from here. However, what? Okay, so apparently I can go get Kazooie right now. Maybe we have to have both Banjo and Kazooie to ride the train? Don't know. That's probably it. Oh, God, Minjo wants me. Um, but I think I'm just going to rejoin them there. And then, so next episode, we need to find the last dinosaur egg. I will look up where it is. I got a week to do it, so... I will look up where it is, I will find the last egg, we will hatch that bad boy, and unfortunately the last one's fat. Am I gonna be able to get back up this thing? I, I cannot get up this thing, so you're gonna make me go the long way. Great. Awesome. My favorite. I'll also look up where the last Jinjo is, if we can get it, and then if we can, we will get... Dude, I, I don't want to deal with this freaking dinosaur. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want to go, buddy? All right, I'm just going to sneak past you then. Um, no, 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 no. No, I said sneak past you. Boop. And boop. Okay. So next time we'll do that. We will get the last baby. Hatch it. Unfortunately, the last baby is fat, and so we have to carry it back with Banjo. Because of course you do. And we have to carry it all the way to the nest, I think. No, not the nest. Somewhere. I don't remember where. There's no way they would make us take it all the way to the nest because you need the springy shoes and Banjo can't. Oh, we can teleport, I guess. It's a pain in the butt, but we'll make it happen. So then we'll get the last Jinjo, and then we're done with Pterodactylan for now. We have to come back and we have to save Oogle Boogle. We have to come back and we have to give Dippy his water. And we have to come back to do something else. My brain hurts. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Play Crash Nation today. If you know anyone that you think would be a great Play Crash Nation, go ahead and send them on by because we would love to have them. But with that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.